What is up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Rivals of Race. Today we're back playing Classic Constructed. My name is Zach and I'll be on Azuri. And I'm Dan and I am playing Kano. Let's do it. On to the game. Good luck. GL HF. Counter on the tunic. I will attack you with Orbiter Class. 4-1 go again. I will block for three. I'm gonna path priority. <laughs> That's very tempting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it is. Uh, yeah, I'll take the bait. Let's activate. Okay. Let's activate Kano. Sure, sure, sure. I will banish this prognosticate. I'm going to activate Crucible as well and do two arcane. I will arcane barrier two. Sure. Nothing further from you, surely. I will then leave no witness with you. <laughs> uh, I will see. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, pop. Sure. Uh, on my turn, I will tick up Tunic, activate Kano, banishing a gaze. Uh, activate Kano again, banishing a flare this time. Uh, I will flare for three. I will AB free. Yep. Uh, cast gaze goes back to my hand. Opting to. Yeah, I'll just keep them like that. Uh, for my action point, I will energy potion. I'll keep this in hand. What? Help. Am I not putting it in your arsenal? <laughs> Count on the tunic. I will orbit a cloth. You know, there's obviously a lot of like decision making in terms of what my hand looks like and actually blocking the Abita class because if if you don't block the Abita class you can just lose three cards on the spot if it's a shakedown so if your hand is like not going to function on two cards normally just like blocking that um the dagger first and making sure that you can actually block for six in terms of keeping one card and at least having an arsenal yeah is always going to be value right so mm -hmm. um there are times when i don't block it but like if i have a if i have four blues i'm gonna always gonna block the Abita class yeah, when you don't block the Obito class, it feels like you're telegraphing to me that either you don't intend to block at all this turn, yeah. and I've got a clear runway, or it's that you have a sink below, or you have some sort of reaction in hand. Yeah, yeah, that's usually the case, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will block three. I'll plunder the poor for four. Uh, I will block three. Any reacts? I have no reactions. Uh, I'll take one. Give me that top card. Oh, that's a good hit. That cost my left. No puff. Tick up Tunic, then I will activate Crucible and Lesson for four. You hate to see it. I will Arcane Barrier free. Take one? Yeah, sure. I will choose to not tutor. Okay. Tunic, uh, or bit of cost. Uh, no blocks. Sure. Then we will Fact the Shift D. We're looking for cards of go again here, so don't like my chances. Uh, no box. No reaction. Bad shocker. I'll pass. Uh, on my turn, I will tick up Tunic. I will activate Crucible. Crucible. And then I will flare for four. I will Arcane Barrier free. And mm -hmm. take one? Yep. Uh, Arsenal and pass. I don't like what's going on over there. <laughs> <laughs> We'll a bit of class for one. Uh, I'm gonna declare no box. Sure. I will annihilate the armed for five. Looking for attack action cards. I'm not blocking. Okay. Three, four, five. Show me that nourishing. Oh. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, no. oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god! Bro. <laughs> <laughs> It's just insane. Straight up one in 50 oh, chance. It's, it's crazy. I'll uh, take it. It's, yeah. <laughs> this is, I have no right game to steal over here. Um, and banishing from the deck also means that you can't do that thing where you play it and then it corrects the frailty and then you bring it back yeah, later in the it's game. It's huge, yeah. It's Getting so, it out. I'm so happy with it. So, um, could I banish an attack action card? I'll, yes. I'll make a fill yeah, one from no, that. I, I, I get that. <laughs> I realize that. Oh, puff turn. Uh, I will use my tunic resource yep. and tome from Arsenal. 
Uh, drawing two, gaining six. Activate Kano. I will tome again. Okay. Let's do it. Draw two. How many cards have you got in hand over there? Uh, I have six cards in hand. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yep. I will activate Kano. Let's have a look. Let's banish the gaze. Uh, I will overpitch a Kano. Okay. Uh, I will sap for one. I will arcane barrier one. Sure. Uh, I'll cast this gaze. Sure. Opting two. I'm gonna put them both on the bottom. I will activate Kano again. Okay. I will move to the end. Yeah, sure. Uh, you could. That's not this card. Draw the extra two cards. I will play backstab for one. Uh, block for three. Any reacts? I'll use my hair ability. Good to evolve. That's fine. Uh, shake down for six. Uh, before damage, I will sink. And I will sink this card. Okay. I will play shred targeting the sink. Yep. So come over for two. Yep. Take two. I'll name blue cards. Uh, yeah, get rid of the finch. Vanished. <laughs> I will go to Arsenal. Take up Tunic. Mm -hmm. And my action point will just be drawing two. Yep. Uh, I will activate Crucible and end my turn. I'll play an e track choosing go again. Uh, I'm just going to block for three, taking two. You got it. Then I will play a Plunder the Poor for four. Uh, no blocks. I'll react. I'll play Cut to the Chase. Sure. Cool top card deck, please. Trying to decide if I want to banish that card or not. No, I'll bottom that card. Bottom? Yep. It's an eye video. Please don't mess with my pitch. <laughs> <that. laughs> <laughs> uh, so you'll take seven? Uh, take a lot, yes. And then banish top card. Excellent. <laughs> Banishing an energy potion. Oh, make a silver and <laughs> faster. That is the worst possible scenario, <laughs> truly. Yep. Pretty good. On my turn, I'll tick up Tunic, activate Crucible, and Spindle for five. I will AB3, take two. Yep. Opting two. One on top, one on bottom. And I will Arsenal and pass. Okay. I'll just attack with Shakedown for six. Just shake down for six. They don't trip, dog. Uh, I will block six. Any racks? Nope. Buff. Good to hear. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Uh, my turn is tick up tunic and play energy potion. Last turn. Okie dokie. I will orbit a cloth for one. Uh, I'm not gonna block. Sure. Then I will shake down for six. One card in hand. One in hand. Uh, response to Shakedown. Oh, Cindering. Okay. From Arsenal to Opt 3. Uh, two top, one bottom. I will activate Kano. Okay. Huh. Uh, I'll activate Kano again. So the Cindering saw uh, Spindle Tome Wildfire, and I was put the. Wildfire on top, put the tome next, and just hope that I hit two blues to be able to enable this turn. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, cast the tome. Uh, drawing two. This is not how I thought this turn was going to go. I will activate Crucible. Uh, cast this Wildfire, and I'm just thinking on Node. Yes, I will activate Metacarpus Node. So this is coming in for seven. Activating node using tunic. Yes. Yeah. Wow, seven. That's really good. <laughs> I'll tunic in response. Mm -hmm. And then I will oasis the wildfire. Yep, I will respond to that. Okay. Uh, I will activate Storm Striders. Okay. Give another one. 
I will wildfire. Uh, while that's on the stack, I'll activate Ragamuffin's hat and put this on top. So this is uh, just for four. It's just four. <laughs> yeah. I'll Arcane Burial one okay. and take three. Yeah. So taking three. So we come back here and this is doing uh, 10. Okay, so I'm preventing four and I'll preventing take four. six. Yep, so taking six. I will activate Kano. Okay. To oh, fuck. reveal a less than lava. I will pop my energy potion for two. Pop my energy potion for four. Nice, dude. Go up to four. This is uh, go down to three to cast <laughs> the lesson for uh, three, six. So this is 12 total. <laughs> That's so sick. I'll take 12. And I will tutor a card. Probably yeah. like a blue zap here. Maybe a Ivafidia. <laughs> and with the three remaining resources, I will activate Kano and Bazinga. <laughs> Bazinga. Um, Out of curiosity, <laughs> what's the damage here? Uh, so this is 30 total. Okay, I'll take 30. <laughs> GG. GG. <laughs> <laughs> well done, dude. When I, when I cindering the uh, wildfire and time, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> what an awesome game. That was super cool to see win from Kano today. Dan did a great job piloting the deck, making sure that he was setting up a strong pitch stack. Then the card fell into his favor and he was able to recognize that he was able to push through Oasis Respite. So again, well done to Dan for getting the win today. I feel like I could have done a better job using my like isolate to cheat and disruption effects. This more contract based list only runs six copies of isolate and I really missed the free reds. I might have to look into squeezing them back into this list. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week when we are playing with the new heroes from Dusk Till Dawn. See ya.